So, students of class 8, I have come up again with a new thing from the discussions that you find in the textual question portion and grammar section or appreciation section. But here the thing is about stress, putting stress in words, where to put the stress. Now, uh, I explained these things to you in class 7. Hope you remember them. If not, then these things are going to help you. Bear in mind the following. Number 1. The syllable stress sits when some words alter their form or meaning. Now, you can see the form, noun form, adjective form, verb form. When these forms uh, change, then the stress also sits, depending on the part of the speech they represent. Now, if it is a noun, then where the stress will be, if it is an adjective, then where the stress will be, if it is a verb, then where the stress will be, according to that the stress place will be shifted. Now some examples are here, now you can see electricity, electricity is the noun form. And in the noun, nouns, in the cases of nouns, you have to start from uh, rightmost uh, most side, rightmost side of the board. Uh, and from there, you have to come left. And from right to left, in the, on, the, on that second syllable, the stress will fall. So here you can see the four syllables here, electricity. The second one is three, so here the stress falls. Now the word changes into electric in the adjective form. And when it is the uh, electric, so uh, the stress will be uh, uh, the penultimate, penultimate stress, that is the second from the last in the left hand side. From right side, you will be counting and uh, before the final one in the left, you will put the stress. So he, here, uh, it is on lack, LEC. Now that uh, uh, this one, bar form, electric five. So here, from the right to left, on the third syllable, the um, stress will fall. Now here the word is exhibition and again you find from right to left on the second one and uh, it's a verb form exhibit this falls on the third from the right. Next comes here democracy that is the noun form and the here uh, mock on mock it falls. If you um, come from the right, Resi, here mock on mock on the third, it falls. And uh, that word, adjective form, democratic, it falls on the second one from the right, democratic. Now, geography. So, here the uh, stress falls on the third from the right or z that is og and the adjective form geographical again you find it on the third from the right now photograph photographer so if it is photograph then on the third from the right and uh, in the case of photographer on the third from the right now photographic here you find it falling on second one from the right now indication here uh, the stress falls on the second one from the right and indicative that is the adjective 
on the third from the right. Now indicate there on the third it falls from the right. Then identification. So here you can find something when I O N is there. Before it, whatever syllable you find there, the uh, stress falls. Then where you have rougher uh, than uh, graph there on the third. So these are some of the things that you can understand. So this much is here in this slide. Then the second one, there are a number of words which do not change their form when used as a different part of a speech. However, the syllable that receives the stress is different. So this is told and uh, from the examples given that you are going to find in the second slide will make the things clear for you. Let us move on to that. So here it is, examples. He plays the stays object on the table, a strange object on the table. Then I object to the, to, to the rude manner in which you spoke to my mother. Now here it is verb, object, and a uh, strange object that is noun. So in sentence A, object is a noun and is pronounced as object. Ob, uh, the stress falls on object. Ob. In sentence B, object is a verb and is pronounced as object. Here, the stress will fall on zact since it is a verb. So these are the things. The content in this text is too difficult for me to understand. So difficult he, the content. The content customer left with smile on her face. Here the, this one is uh, adjective and the first one is noun. In the sentence A, content is a noun and is pronounced as con, stress on con. Then in an adjective, and is uh, and is pronounced as content. So when it is a verb, or it is an adjective, then on the second syllable, and if it is a noun, it is on the first syllable. So this much we have learned from here. Mm, I hope you understand something. And with this, I conclude my presentation here. We'll come up with new things in the next presentation. Till that time, bye. Thank you.